Hello, it's Russell again. This tutorial is going to show you how to create very simple DMD animations for your pinball table. So we'll start off using um, this uh, bus animation that I've used uh, as an example. Now it's created in a desktop publisher um, and it's uh, what I've done here is I've just created this background street using very crude shapes, squares, lines and a speech bubble for the tree. And I've got this bus from the internet which I've extracted and as you can see it's just a toy and I'm just capturing a frame at a time of the bus moving and that's all you need and then we're just going to review the footage that I've just done so it's about 10 frames um, and you just move it along it looks like the bus is moving down the street and here it is in the game so it really is that simple so we're just creating another one here this is the actual uh, the, the ball lost animation the ball goes into Freddy Krueger's mouth like that and then in the game there it is now the DMD on the back glass is actually red which looks much better than the one on the HUD and there's a few more examples of how to create some very simple animations um, the fire on the multiple there was just uh, reversing the flame background just two frames of animation is all you need and these are just images that are stuck on and this is the bus rocking you just move it one way and then move it another way that's only two frames of animation but it looks like the bus is rocking when you actually see it in the game so what we'll do now is we'll just create a very quick DMD animation for the shoot again so we create a blank area which is the size of the DMD we'll just type in shoot again in a spooky font which fits perfectly with the game and what we're going to do is we're going to shrink this down or squeeze it to one side and then we'll, the animation will be the shoot again moving to the right of the screen so it's about five frames so we'll just capture a frame at a time until we get the shoot again showing completely and that's that and then we'll just show you what it looks like uh, just by checking the animation before we actually put it in the game that looks smooth enough that'll do and then we see it in the game on the back glass okay and the last stage now is to import the frames that you've just created into the texture manager in future pinball so we just make sure we get all the correct frames import them into the texture manager and then we're going to create an image list where we can put those frames so the image list I'm going to create is going to be called DMD and it will be referenced in the script and so we'll just make sure that all the frames that I've just loaded into the texture manager are now loaded into the image list under the name DMD so they're all in one place you can place many different animations in the same image list um, and as long as you make a note of the actual frames you shouldn't uh, have any problems with that Okay, the last stage is uh, writing the information to the script. The script is always the very last thing you do. So all you do in the script here is just make sure that the image list DMD is loaded for both the HUD DMD and the back glass DMD. And that's it. Thank you for watching.